So for the text in the center of the card, I've decided I'm going to use Procreate to kind of um, write out something. Um, and I initially said happy birthday, but this is a special birthday and it's going to be 40 years. So we're gonna write 40 years and I'm going to use Procreate app for that. So I've opened up Procreate app, I've opened up a sheet. Uh, let me just take you back so you can see how that works. Fairly basic, really. Uh, I've selected something that's already in a canvas size of uh, 1000 by 500, but I think I'm gonna make it 1000 by 1000. And then this way I have a square and then I'm gonna add, I have a happy written here already. So what I'm gonna do is delete this and show you exactly how I can add in another thing of text. So I'm gonna go the tool section right at the top, add, and insert, oh sorry, add text. And then I'm gonna add it 40. I'm gonna add the 40. I'm gonna hit on edit style. Increase the size of this font to like something crazy. Hit done. Do I like the font style? Um, yes, let's keep it delicate. I like it. I'm just gonna decrease this, the spacing between the four and the zero by moving this back and forth on the kerning. Uh, just a little bit of space, so that's good. Hit done. Then I'm going to swipe this over, hit duplicate. And all that does is it duplicates the layers. So I'm gonna move that down. And then I'm going to hit edit text and This allows me to write years. Now obviously the text is way too big, so clicking on edit, going back and really sizing down years. Then I also wanna turn on uh, all caps, so I've just done that. Now I'm gonna hit the arrow at the top and bring, bring this down. and then click on the brush to kind of deselect. Now I wanna try and get these centered a little bit. So let's get 40 centered here. Not that it matters at this point. Um, years, let's do that here. And I'm going to make years a lot smaller. I have decided, so edit text and then just go smaller. And I'm going to increase the kerning for years to like 74, 75-ish. Hit done. And now I'm gonna pinch this so you can see how it looks. Just needs to be kind of moved over a little bit. So I'm just gonna move it over and line the Y up with this edge right here. And that's perfect. I think I like how this looks. So now I'm gonna save it. Uh, so clicking on the tool icon there, I'm just going to hit um, share and then hit PNG because I wanna save it as a PNG. Actually, before doing this, what we're gonna do is, because I want it without a white background. So I'm gonna click on my layers and unclick the background color so then everything goes transparent in the back. Now I'm gonna go back to the tool section, click on share, then PNG, and then save image. So now it's saved onto my iPad and I can now send it to the Cricut and the Cricut is going to cut the 40 years out for me. So we're gonna do that and I will be right back. For those interested in seeing how I do it on the Cricut, I'm opening my Cricut design space and I have everything on here. So um, we are going to click on Canvas at the top right and I am going to click on Upload, which is right here at the bottom. And I am going to select my 40 years. So select from Photo Library and 
clicking on that, select my 40 years, and it brings it in here. Uh, it'll prompt you to see if you need any cleaning up, but we've, we just literally need 40 years cut out and there is no background. So I think we're good to go because we saved it as a PNG. So I'm gonna hit next, which is at the top. Refine cutting pads using the tools below. Um, nothing needs to be refined. It's perfect as is, so I'm gonna click on next. And then I'm just gonna select 40. I'm just gonna name this 40 years and click on done. Click on the cut there, then click on done. And then hit save. And now it takes me to this page here. I'm gonna click on uh, 40 years and then click on close, sorry, not close. Click on insert and now it inserts it onto our canvas. So I'm zooming by this in assumptions that you guys are well versed with the Cricut or decently worst, versed with it. Um, so, we are in inches here, so I want to make sure that uh, my, based on the card, this should be about 2.5 by 2.5, nothing beyond that really. So it is a fairly small card. So if you're ever unsure about the sizing of it, if you just click on the right and go down, it'll show you the numbers right there. That's my way of doing it. So I want it to be around 2.5 by 2.5. So I'm just going all the way down. Uh, 2.5 by 2. Point. Yeah, so let's do that. And I'm going to take it all the way to the top here and drop it just there. I'm not gonna do more. Um, now I'll just click on make it. And this takes me to, gives me a view of where it's located. Uh, again, if you're well versed with Cricut Design Space and just doing Cricut stuff, this is pretty normal. I'm gonna click on continue. And this is where I actually connect to the Cricut and get stuff done. So for the vinyl, I am going to be using some of this beautiful permanent silver vinyl that I have. And I'm just gonna cut out a piece that's just about that size and put it onto my Cricut um, mat, which is right here. So 40 years is now printed out and I am going to get it onto my transfer sheet on here. And I'm just gonna make sure that I can peel this off. And I'm just gonna get it, put it directly on here. And I'm getting my Cricut bit to, I call it bit because I don't know what the, the word, the name for this evades me right now, but something to smoothen it down and make sure that it really sticks on properly. And then I'm going to slowly peel it off. Okay, clearly the four needs a little more coaxing right there, coaxing right there. All right, and then I'm very gently going to peel this off to make sure everything comes on. So smooth. All right, so we've got that bit. Now I'm gonna move this aside so I can show you the card. And we have our 40. And now placement is pretty much up to us, like where we wanna place it. So I'm going to make sure that it's on properly and I'm gonna place it right here. So a little bit of overlapping, which I don't mind, right? Because it kind of looks nice, I think. 
and then back again, get something to kind of really smoothen it out. And once you're pleased enough with smoothening things out, you slowly peel it away. So here we go. Okay, 40, the four needs a little bit more smoothening out to make sure it's really on there properly. And then just peel it off ever so slowly. I've not done this on like watercolor paper before or like, oops, see the A ripped out a little bit. So you have to be extremely gentle and I'm probably gonna switch this around so that the A doesn't rip off again, oops. And this is happening because these letters are super tiny guys. And so again, it's a little bit tricky when you're going this tiny, but not by that much if you aren't already anticipating issues like this. And you know to anticipate them already because I'm going through this with you in a video. There we go, we're done. I'm just gonna make sure that the 40 is properly put on here and then we are done our little birthday card which has a combination of watercolor and some Cricut stuff along with um, Procreate as well. So here we go, we've got like this really nice note card where you can kind of write a private message on the back and it comes with the envelope all right so we have our card done and this is what it looks like and I'm really digging the blues with the silver and we have like this nice envelope to go with it. And so literally, it is ready to go. Well, obviously after you write your message in the back. But look how nice that looks, guys. Just a little bit of effort and you can create something quite authentic and real. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this uh, from the painting to the Cricut bit. Um, uh, just just to the whole idea, I guess and uh, Feel free to send me if you end up doing this feel free to send me your versions of this in uh, on Instagram and Facebook and If you like this video guys and you found this helpful, please do make sure to like and subscribe So once again, thanks so much for watching